Hey everyone, um, so I've just jumped into my M2 um, and I'm trialing a modification to the Harman Kardon sound system. So overall, I think it's a decent system. Um, I've made some coding changes in the past. I think I changed the coding to F87, although don't quote me on that, that's from memory. Uh, in Bimmer code, I've just, it's a popping modification. It just changes the sound profile of the whole system. I think it's F87 um, and you can quickly Google it and look on some M2 forums. Um, but it overall just changed the sound system, made it sound a lot cleaner, a lot richer. Um, so yeah, overall really happy with the Harman Kardon. I was happy with it before the coding configuration, but since I've changed the coding on it, it sounds a hell of a lot better. So really happy with it. And I've got the treble and the bass settings within the iDrive system to kind of where I think they should be. And overall it sounds reasonably decent. So the only criticism that I still have is sometimes left and right can be a little bit muddled. You can't really determine left from right clearly as you should do with a you know, reasonably decent sound system um so i've done a bit of googling and there seems to be some suggestion and a common modification is to disconnect the center speaker that sits behind the iDrive screen in the center of the dash so i'm going to try this i'm going to disconnect it and i'm going to see if i can tell any difference the majority of people online seem to suggest as soon as you disconnect it you hear a world of difference and all of a sudden you can hear cleaner and more defined left and right channels and music. So these center speakers and the uh, door pillars, obviously there's one right next to my head as I drive. And uh, there's quite a few times where I've genuinely wondered if the driver's side specifically, because uh, obviously I'm right next to it, if they're, if they're not working or the driver's side is, yeah, is broken or something, because I just can't hear anything from them. Um, so I'm kind of thinking this is what people suggest is, the solution disconnect the center speaker because that just it just muddles the left and the right um so i'm kind of hoping that if i do disconnect this i actually do just get a lot cleaner left and right channels so as you can see um this is uh, obviously the iDrive screen and at the center of the dash there they are the speakers i think there's there's two obviously um and this grill basically sits on top so as you can see there are a number of um, plasticky metal clips. Now, originally I was using a small trim tool um, that just wouldn't cut it. The, the trim just wouldn't come up and I felt like I was going to snap the edges of the trim. So I ended up using a really quite beefy trim tool. Um, and I actually used kind of this angle and literally just got, if I can show you, just got the trim tool underneath and just started twisting and prizing. And one by one, the clips just came up. Uh, the one thing that I notice is you do have to prize a little bit more than you would feel comfortable doing. But if you're using a decent sized trim tool, uh, it's going to lessen the risk of you actually snapping the plastic. And you just need to give it a good kind of twist and pull up. And you'll just slowly start to unclip each of the edges. And once you've got one, one or two clips up, you can get your fingers in under and just pull it up all around the edges and it'll pop off. Okay, so after trial and error, I think I found the right size of Torx. Um, I don't actually know what size this is. It looks to me like it's a four or five mil, um, but we'll crack on. Okay, so I'm trying to do this without touching the windscreen because I don't want to get really manky, greasy fingerprints on the windscreen. Come yeah, on, there we go. This is going to take a while and I might even try and find a different length Torx uh, driver because this is just going to take forever. Okay, well that was really quite fiddly and difficult, really annoying. Um, I ended up using a combination of tools, so I used a four inch driver to access this and there's one about here and then this one on this speaker because it will fit quite nicely just about this one and this one obviously there's not enough height um, so they were really difficult to get to so I had to use a really low profile driver to get to that one so I could only do about a quarter turn each turn so it just took forever. We are now free, or we should be, so in theory, I should be able to just lift this up. Although I think I need two hands, so I'm going to have to put you down. Okay, so I apologise about the wonky camera angle. It's really difficult to kind of get two hands in it, and then my head near it as well. This is a really awkward job. Ah, ah my finger's caught. Right, come on, up we come. Right, okay, so there's... The main driver out. Uh, the cable is on 
is about here on this side. So I can just, you can just about see the blue electrical connector there. So, I mean, you can see it quite clearly there. That tiny little square is typically on a BMW connector. What I need to pinch, the one on either side, to release the clip. So I'm just going to go get a screwdriver now. Okay, so I've got myself a pick tool and I'm going to see if I can somehow release the speaker. Guarantee this is not going to be as easy as it should be. Nope. It makes it even more difficult. Look, there's hardly any working space. Ah, okay, actually there's two. In, uh, two connectors. See, there's a left and a right there. So I'm gonna work on getting these out and I'll come back to you. Okay, so there was some good news. I didn't need a pincer tool at all. Um, they just pulled out quite nicely. So I'm hoping that this one has already been released because I think this was the connector connecting it into the main driver. Uh, or maybe not. Right, let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah, there we go. I think this, there we go. That should all just pull out. The main driver, which is probably a two, two and a half inch driver, tweeter, whatever you call it. I don't really know my speakers. Um, this basically hooks into the bottom of that. And then there's the one cable left in the dash, which then connects into one of the connectors there. Literally just disconnected these two speakers from the center of the dash and I've just whacked the volume up and I already can tell the difference. It's already made a positive difference. It is definitely now left and right sounds that you can hear. Pretty good. Now, I guarantee the, the iPhone won't pick that up at all. Um, but take my word for it. If you have a 2 Series and you're thinking, oh, okay, the sound can be improved a little bit, honestly, remove these speakers from the center of the dash. It's a 15 minute job. It's not difficult, it's just a bit fiddly. Um, and already I've just noticed from 20 seconds of song that this has already made quite an improvement. It is now absolutely left and right sound. Um, the center speaker just muddled it up a little bit and it all sounded like, to be honest, it, it sounded like 70 to 80% of the sound you could hear was coming from that speaker and not the rest of the system. Whereas now, there's nothing coming from that speaker, obviously, nothing coming from the front of the dash, and it's now clearly coming from the left-hand side and the right-hand side all the way back. Um, so it's, it's a much more fulfilling experience. And I have listened to a little bit more than that 30 seconds I just showed you guys. Um, a couple of minutes of music. Um, yeah, that's my first impressions. It's definitely a lot more left, right, and rear sound now, rather than it being all kind of coming from the front dash area, which just didn't sound good. So yeah, hope that's helped guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Okay, just a quick one at the end. I had such a pain putting this grill back on, and I found the key was, at the front, there is one, two, three, kind of L-shaped like that, plastic hooks. This edge needs to go in first, so those hooks can obviously hook in. Then you can push down around the other three edges. Now I found after you've hooked the front edge in, work from the left. Get this one in, click down, get that one in, click down, and work your way along to here. You won't be able to get kind of these two in until then you've got, I think there's one or maybe two on this edge. Get those two in, and then you can finally click that one in. It's just taken me 10 minutes and probably about 10 different attempts of pulling this off to get it back in. I'm absolutely knackered. It is so fiddly, but it's doable. Front edge, left, along the back, to the corner, down this way, and finally the corner.